Hello and welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Octopath Traveler 2. Uh, we are going to do 10 minutes chapter 2 in this episode, but before we do that, I did find uh, how to get that guy across the bridge. But before that, apparently I cannot guide him yet. But I just want to show you guys that I found something interesting. I found a thief's gem. Uh, which is why we need to get another license for Thief. It's only 55% in my current level to steal as well. So I thought that's pretty good. Uh, let me see. I'm going to change Temenos to Partitio for now. Because we can only go to the guild at night. We could probably hire him. Okay, so apparently that guy doesn't want to get across. I don't know what I... I don't know what his deal then. Doesn't matter. We're gonna go to the Thieves' Guild. This makes me think... Because I don't really need two Thieves' License. There you go. I think that is it. Oh, you know what? Job. Oh, thief. Because we can get more thieves. Life in the shadows. Aber's reckoning. Unleash a powerful dagger attack on all foes. The greater your speed, the more potent the attack. That's pretty good, but that's very expensive though. So what is Life in the Shadow? Receive additional EXP and JP after battle at night. Yo, that's pretty good. Saving up. Okay, I think we're ready. Now we're gonna go for Temenos, which is in Candlebride. I guess that makes sense, right? Because it's the other town that also has a church. I don't think I've seen any other town with a church. Temenos follows the trail of the pontiff's killer to Candlebrine, where he must find the theologian, Lucian, and quickly, for Lucian may be the key to solving the case. <gasps> Yet another murder mystery. Merciful gods! And what do you want with my lord? <laughs> Daughter the Charitable. Did suffer grievous wounds in the fight with the evil god Vide, and fell into eternal slumber. <laughs> Thought I would send you off with a bit of scripture. All in the name of, of Vide. Lord Vide. The City on the Waters, Canalbrine. Just before the Pontiff was murdered, someone met with him. A theologian known as Lucian, whose trail has brought me here. He may yet hold the clue I need to find the murderer. Hey! Over here! Mm -hmm. 
investigate the commotion. Why did someone kill him? I'm scared. Committing a murder in the full fear of the gods? Whoever did this is just asking for divine punishment. I've never visited Hinoyuma before, you know. I'm not worried about getting lost, though. After all, all the traveling... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you heard? Someone was murdered at the church. M -m murdered Grandpa went to see where the murder happened. It's just terrible what happened. I need to warn my family. It can't be just an ordinary murder if the sacred guard is getting involved. Ah, them again. That young fellow was two young fellows? I had no idea. Oh yes, this guy. A theologian. Oh, you mean Lucian? He lives on the west side of town. You can take a skiff there. Hmm. This area has been sealed off. Oh, come on! Just give us one look! Stand back! The Sacred Guard is investigating this incident! Well, this is anything but calm and orderly. The only way to close a case is to begin investigating. I'd better ask around and find out what happened. Oh, I already did that now. I never thought something like this would happen in our town. Who would do something like this? I never thought an incident like this would happen so close to home. But why has the sacred guard sealed off the area? It seems like the town apothecary has been killed. How awful. I was a patient of this too. I see, I see. So that's it then. Ken O'Brien's renowned apothecary has been killed by an unknown assailant. Could this be related to the pontiff's death? Hmm. You there! What are you snooping around for? Uh, I'm a cleric. Found me out, have you? I am merely the humble inquisitor. Don't move a muscle, stranger. I bet you're hiding a weapon. I'll have you restrained. I that only have a staff. A touch aggressive. Yeah. Stop! <gasps> Crick! Crick! Crick saved the day yet again. That's Inquisitor Temenos from the church. You needn't restrain him. I vouch for him. A sanctum knight. Uh, forgive us our haste, sir. Rick, we meet again. Was this your new post in the end? Indeed. And you're the last person I expected to see here. Oh, Crick, I hope you're not evil. Well, I'm glad I did. You were nearly wrongfully imprisoned. Are you all right, Temenos? You look rather pale. It is to my great shame that I am now indebted to you, little lamb. <laughs> little lamb, you still insist on insulting me. Nevertheless, a debt is a debt. I shall remember this. <laughs> <sighs> to think I made my way to the same city to which you were reassigned. It must be fate. Do not dare say fate. <laughs> That the Sacred Guard and I have come to the same conclusion, is what I meant to say. This is no time for jokes, Crick. M my apologies. Do you also suspect the theologian Lucian is involved? Among all Lucian's works, one called The Final Night casts the longest shadow. The Final Night. 
and anything with night in the title catches my eye of late. And soon night shall fall. Ah, uh, that's right. The verse and the note the pontiff left behind. In myth and legend, the night is often a metaphor for the enemy or some other threat. By that logic, perhaps the pontiff meant to warn us against the threat that is Lucian. Has the Sacred Guard learned anything? No, nothing at all. Oh dear, mm. Mm. what useless little crows. Do you know something we don't, Temenos? Of course I do. These two cases share more than a bit of scripture. Go on. One of the townsfolk had a most curious story for me. Our ill-fated apothecary met in secret with a man mere days before his murder. That man was Lucian. Wh what? The pontiff also met with Lucian just before he was murdered. I believe our theologian played a role in both incidents. Meaning, hmm. he is now the person of greatest interest to us. <coughs> come one, come all! Don't miss Hermes the Dancer's next performance! Hermes? You want to buy a ticket too? You can pay your respects to the goddess of the city! Apologies, but I am otherwise occupied. They're no fun. Hermes dances tonight! Don't miss it! Meet at the tavern! A performance amid all this chaos. Temenos, we must question Lucian. There's not a moment to lose. He must be stopped. Hmm. I am not quite so willing. What are you waiting for? Another murder? There may well have been one already. All available evidence points towards Lucian, but something's troubling me. Alas, with no further evidence or clues at hand. Very well. Let us make our way to Lucian's home. Oh, and where is that? I do need someone else to guide. Any willing? Arrow Folly? Not too bad. But I'm looking for like 4 star or higher. Ugh. Poison Arrow. Right this way. I have not stole from you. I'll take that. Ah, <laughs> oh, this one, the locked house, I see. Lucian, are you there? I am from the Sacred Guard. I wish to have a word with you. No reply, as I thought. Then it's come to this. We must use brute force. <laughs> what are you suggesting, Temenos? No, stop. We need the Sacred Guard's permission. Says the man who tells me we've not a moment to lose. 
Well, yes, but... We can beg for forgiveness later. But for the moment, I need you to give us an edge. How dare you! <laughs> No arguing with you, is there? Nice one. Bravo, Crick. <laughs> You're learning. Now, let's invite ourselves in. Oh, gods, please forgive me. Is that... He's dead as well? Lucian? How could this be? Dead. And it's him. There's no mistaking it. I very much doubt he is our killer now. Then who could it be? Hmm. I'll call for help. No. That would be unwise, Crick. Let's have a look around before the Sacred Guard has its way with the place. We may find something that leads us to the real murderer. So this is where the trails led us. Who is this? Captain Caldina. Caldina? As head of the Sacred Guard, perhaps you should not intervene. I've made up my mind. We're going. Understood. Forgive my impudence. The Sanctum Knights! Never in all my days did I think I'd see the heroes of the Scripture in the flesh. The matter at hand must be quite serious. Can we be Sanctum Knights? Is there any news? Or... It seems the Inquisitor has made an appearance. Uh-huh. Temenos, no doubt. Seems the Hound has a very keen nose. Let him roam. He's no concern of ours. Are you quite sure? We are simply carrying out the mission our Lord gave us. And who is that, VD? What do you make of this, Temenos? You're far too hasty, Crick. Give me a moment to think. Y yes of course. Hmm. Hmm. I've seen this before. Hmm. I share a Holmes truth moment. Lies in the flame. <laughs> Lucian's notebook. Is this Lucian's note? Crackridge, Wildlands. There's only one reason to come to these lands. And that is to learn more about the people who protected its flame. One thing my study has revealed is that to a person, they all bore the same tattoo. The shape of the days that carries the sacred flame. What significance that holds, if any? will surely reveal itself with further study. The other discovery of note is this verse. And soon night shall fall through their words, words that must reach the pontiff's ear. Well, this is all fascinating. Fascinating? But we don't yet know if it's related to the matter at hand. Prayer Handbook. A handbook 
on how to pray to the gods. If you wish for your prayers to reach the gods' ears, be sure to pray to them in the proper order. First comes the traitor, the prince of thieves, the huntress, the thunderblade, then the lady of grace, then the scholar king, the charitable, and finally the flame bringer. Hmm. This is the same order that the gods fell in their battle against Fide. Hmm. Oh, is the order in reverse? Because first is the pontiff, then it's the apothecary. Now pray. Proper prayers bring good fortune. Pray in the opposite order and you shall invite a curse. Could this have any relation to the three victims we found thus far? Yes, it's in the reverse order. And who's the Lady of the Grace? Um, the is it first dancer? victim was the Pontiff, a strike at Elfric the Flamebringer. Next, an apothecary. Doter, the charitable. Then Lucian, a scholar. Alifan, the scholar king. It seems the killer is working their way backward through the order of prayers. Which means their next target will represent Sealtish, the Lady of Grace. A dancer, perhaps. Hermes. Yes, yes. I see it now. Welcome back, Temenos. I know the murderer's next target. What? Are you sure? Is there a famous dancer in the city, Crick? Hermes. A dancer? Um... There's the one that Peddler was selling tickets for earlier. I believe her name was Hermes, and she was to dance at the tavern, or something of the sort. Ah, yes. Well remembered. Wait, where are you going? Temenos! We must hurry. The killer will show themselves at the tavern. I'm sure of it. This was an amateur's work. That's quite an ominous statement. There's blood everywhere, they left a, tra they left a trace, which means they lack the skill to kill their target instantly. They're practically begging for you to find them. What's the matter, Temenos? Merely thinking that, were you my enemy, it would make for quite a difficult case. <laughs> Is that a challenge, detective? Absolutely, but only should the opportunity present itself. Uh, it was the trader, prince of thieves, who else? Maybe Hickory. You know what? Ah. It's okay, it's okay. I'll take uh, I'll take Hickory. Just for the banter. I'm pretty sure we will have to do a little bit of dungeoning. <laughs> Hello, my little fishies. Fishies. Are you having the time of your lives this evening? It's the goddess of Camelbride! Ah, we're not too late. Do you really think the killer is in the audience? 
There are three suspicious very carefully hidden, yes. Suspicious figures. But to no avail, for I shall reveal him. Aha, have you identified the criminal, Temenos? Yes, with your help, I believe I have some extremely educated guesses. I knew you would figure it out, so who is our enemy? The note the pontiff left behind was a big as clear as I suspected. And soon night shall fall. This phrase given to us by particular people is what binds these cases together. I believe the killer is a descendant of those same people. And there will be mark on their person that proves it. Hmm, so you expect to find them among the crowd at the tavern. Precisely, though it won't be easy. You have my word should it come to blows. <laughs> what good fortune to have two trustworthy blades by my side. Okay, now I can swap with Casty. Damn it. I will get answers. <laughs> Where was I? Yeah. To work. Yeah. Where was I? Yeah. Oh dear. Repent. How that? Be? First I kill the pontiff, then I make courses with the Optiopothecary and scholar of this town. Next I shall offer the life of the dancer for my lord, for soon night shall fall. Aros the architect. Wait, that's too easy! You! That's like the first person I try. This string of murders was committed by none other than you. Vados the architect. Upon vanquishing the Flamebringer, you came here to Canelbrine, where you easily crossed the Charitable and the Scholar King off your list. And in accordance with the scripture, your next target will be... Sealtij, the Lady of Grace, who shall be played this evening by the renowned dancer Hermes. Isn't that so? Rick, do something. I am a servant of the one true god, Vite. It's always a dark god for these people. A sanctum knight. Good one, Crick. Newly anointed, but yes. Bravo, Crick. Stop! Where did he go? There, Crick. To the ship? That's the Sacred Guard's ship. We must be swift. I knew it. It's related to them. There are corruption in them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do we want to bring Casty or do we want to bring someone else? Let me check. What cast is 21? She also needs it. So why not? If you're looking for the man who came here, he left through the side exit. Has he done something wrong? The east exit of this building connects to the warp up back. I suggest 
Take it out of my way. Very well. Blaze on to the sacred flame. I'm done. My turn. Axe attack. Now. Now's our chance. Pierce the wings of frost. I've gained valuable insight. So oh, that's it? That oh Dark I'm amulet. Hmm, might be. Might be. Blow, Temenos. I need a plan. <laughs> Thinking time. Well now. Oh dear. Not me, not. Pray away. Mental soup. <laughs> to work. Yeah. Fighting is not what I do. Oh, this is the right way. Are you my next patient? Dark Guardian. Indulge me, boy. Here I go. Naughty deeds earn the bitter nuts. Oops. My journey will not end. Study harder. Do be gentle. Here I go. Bravo, Casting. There. I need a plan. Pierce the wings of frost. I've gained valuable insight. I 
me grind a little bit more. <sighs> I couldn't find the sentinel or whatever it's called, so let's just go for it. Alfred's blessing, a single ally, the ability to act again at the end of the turn for three turns. That is so good. The equipping cartel will recover with 25% of their max HP once per battle upon being incapacitated. Maybe this is good. Let's see. The time for answers has come, faithful servant of V-Day. The late pontiff left a note behind just before his death. It reads as follows. Night shall fall. And soon night shall fall. Words from the keepers of the flame, I believe. <sighs> the tattoo on the back of your hand is also a marking of theirs. Keeper of the flame. Which means the pontiff wanted us to know that the killer was one of you. The day of his murder, you took the underground passage. You lured the beast that killed the pontiff to the cathedral. And left it to follow its natural instincts. Oh, you are the architect from chapter Standing one. Standing watch as the pontiff died. Well deduced, Temenos. None can deceive mine eyes, not even a god. Ados, why? You cannot detain me here. I am on a mission. Come, servant of V-Day. Where was I? I forgot to equip. Oh gosh. Oh, only one? <laughs> May the sacred flame guide you. Wrath. 
pierce the winds of frost. Here I go. Ah! Naughty deeds earn the bitter mess. Now! Say bye bye to your armor. Now then, calculations complete. <sighs> to work. <laughs> Holy light, illuminate the darkness. What to do, what to do. Poison slash. Thinking time. <laughs> oh, it's not staff. Here we go. Well, oh, I'm dumb. It's of course it's not. Holy light! Illuminate the dark. Here I go. It's either bow or knife. Naughty deeds are in a bitter mess. Where was I? Holy light! Illuminate the darkness! Here we go! <laughs> you have some nice stuff! What to do? What to do? This will teach you. I'm terribly sorry. No, Hmm, <laughs> what to do, what to do? This one's for me. Show you feel my wrath. Oh, I think you're gonna beat them. <laughs> Rise, fierce blizzard. Oh, weak. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I've seen worse methods. The least you can do is give me something good. Now talk. <laughs> uh, 
surrender yourself not unto silent dusk, for the light shall fade. That's enough. Captain Caldina! In the sacred name of Bran the Thunderblade, you are under arrest. Beg for his mercy, for it is he who shall judge you for your crimes. Be not conceited, for it is you who must beg forgiveness. Oh, is Caldina gonna be dead? Because she is the Thunderblade? Your name was Crick, yes? Well done. And so the crows of the Sacred Guard descend once more. So eager to take the credit for the hard work of others. <laughs> Pardon us for not having the liberty of pecking at every seed and rock we come across. Go about your business. Your little interrogation is over. I will merely note that the criminal now in your custody is a heretic. He chose his victims according to scripture, you see. Well, nothing stay your tongue. I'm helping, bitch. Come, Crick. There is work to be done. Not even a thank you. Yes, Jeez. Captain. Poor hound. You lost your master. Hmm. <laughs> Careful. I bites. You're sending me back to headquarters? We will deal with the aftermath here in Kennelbrine. Vados will be transported to the Sacred Guard, where he shall remain in custody. Where is headquarters? You shall be his escort. Surely not plain church. I am honored, Captain. Yet... Yet what? Yet what? In truth, it was Temenos who apprehended the suspect. As such, might we not grant him the opportunity to interrogate Vados? You're gonna get slapped, Very right? Well. In deference to the late pontiff, he may have his interrogation. Many thanks, Captain. Crick. Did your investigation reveal anything of note? Just before you apprehended him, Vados uttered something strange, yes. Surrender yourself not unto silent dusk, for the light shall fade. Is that another clue? I feel I've heard those words somewhere before, but I cannot place them. Good work. That will be all. Excellent work, Rick. Ort, are you joking? We joined at the same time, and here you are serving as bodyguard to the captain herself. I scarcely deserve the admiration of someone so clearly superior. <laughs> Is that so? What the hell? That sword of yours makes us equals. Come now. You needn't spar with me to know you're better, right? <laughs> it is possible for skills to atrophy, you know. The only reason I'm here is because Captain Caldina saw fit to raise me up. 
Just as the Inquisitor brought you into the church. Right. The flame lights the way. We just happen to be following our own flames. Down paths we pray are righteous. May the sacred flame guide you, Crick. And you as well, Ort. Hmm. What is it that you're reading, Temenos? The theologian Lucian's notes. I borrowed them. <laughs> Borrow. Evidence yet again. Borrow. The keyword is Let's borrow. Not say okay. Anything we'll regret, Crick. This is well within the bounds of our investigation. Gods, please have mercy. What do you plan to do next, anyhow? Well, the case this string of murders opened is now closed. I have been told to escort Vados back to headquarters. And that is what I shall do. Once he's safely in the Sacred Guard's custody, you'll be given the opportunity to interrogate him. Oh, with the Crow's approval? How suspicious. I think you would do well to choose gratitude over doubt, just this once. <laughs> you forget that doubt is what I do. So, there are two paths before me. Oh, it's split. Two paths? Are you not returning to the Sacred Guard headquarters yourself? That is the first path, and it leads to the interrogation of Vados. The second path, however, lies within these notes. The Fell Sun Ruins. The Fell Sun Apparently, Ruins? they're somewhere in Crackridge. The theologian Lucian intended to visit them before he was killed. Hmm, that is much more interesting. I feel in this my opinion. might be a momentous clue. And so the second path leads to the Felsun ruins. The question is, which puzzle do I solve first? Whichever you choose to follow, take care of yourself, Temenos. I shall welcome you at our headquarters, whenever you arrive. <laughs> I eagerly await our reunion. Oh, Crick. This is far from over. Far from over. Why did Vados kill these people? Sacrifice, probably. Why did he liken his victims to each of the eight gods? He wants to bring back Vide. There's something I'm not seeing. Something important. And I'm going to find out what. Temenos' investigation bears fruit, where others saw a period at the end of a string of murders. Temenos is only a comma, an ominous promise. It is far from over. He senses a nefarious presence lurking in the shadows. Shadows, the sacred flame shall illuminate in due time. Ooh -hoo. Ooh, the Cleric and Thief Part 1 is also available. Why do they call you Han? That is a question with no easy answer, I'm afraid. Is it because of your big, adorable eyes? I'm sorry? Dogs are wise, they got good noses and they're fast. They do call you Han because they like you, right? <laughs> Would you mind if I called you Han too? Please tell me you're joking. So Oswald doesn't really say anything, huh? Okay, let's see. So one is Crack Ridge, which is level 24, still lower than Oshas oh, Chapter 2, Jesus. D 
the other is in Stormhill. Oh, your path crossed with Oshet a lot, and the cross path is in Flame Church, which is only level sixteen. Why is New Delta one level eight? But anyway, that is it for this episode. We are uh, one character uh, from completing all the chapter two. Once we do the Hickory, we'll take a gander at this cross path before I decide to finish off some of the chapter 2 rounds that I haven't done. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, bye.